Hello, my dear viewers. Welcome to this reading. This reading is for all air energies, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And it's a love reading, all about your love life, your relationship, how it's going, what's happening, what is missing, what you need to know, what are private, personal things that you need to know, and where everything is heading, and what's coming, everything you need to know. And it's for the week of April 20 to the 27th, 2024, for every air energy, including me. I'm a Libra. With Sagittarius and Leo, but Libra. Okay, my dear viewers, so let us have a look. The most important factor is these uh, messages here, as you can see that they're uh, closed. I've left them closed because they are there for you to make it personal. They are for every air energy. They are for Gemini, for Libra, and for Aquarius. They're for all of you. But you can make it personal without seeing them, putting your intention on um, one or two or three or or as many as you like, these are included, and get messages. These are words, these are also words, and there's timing, and there's also, like, if you want to know about how long or when, or uh, what do they think, and, and what's going to happen, anything, so that to make it personal and specifically for you, just nominate what you want, put your questions there, and you'll get the answer. And remember, all the messages are for all of us, but still, you can make it personal. Okay, let us begin with the most important factor before I open them up to see what's important for, wow, activation. Something's starting, something's getting activated, something is igniting, and it looks like it's destined. It's something out of your hands, it's destined. It looks to me like all the guiding angels, everybody is around, it's a spiritual matter. It is going to be a bit difficult it looks like there could be a challenge but you will overcome it and you will heal so whatever is igniting it's quite intriguing let's see okay now before i start with the tarot should i start before or should i open the messages first actually i'll take out four important factors for all gemini libra aquarius and we've got temperance it's showing a little bit of patience with a little bit of patience soon everything is going to fall into its place you will know where you stand you will have balance you will have stability and you will have most of all you'll have an understanding why this has happened so this is number one temperance a little bit of patience then we've got the queen of pentacles it shows someone who is going to live a life of comfort Life of comfort is destined for you. There could be someone that is quite wealthy. Also, someone of earth energy. Uh, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. We'll find out who. I'll clarify everything and we'll understand it all. Then we have the Knight of Cups. A proposal. Wow, a beautiful proposal. One that might be so spectacular you can't argue. Um, a proposition or a proposal coming up. Wow. And then finally, we've got the Two of Cups. Wow, this is amazing. Two of Cups is soulmates uniting, working well together. Um, soulmates, just everything igniting with someone that you'll heal together and grow together. This is magic. Wow, this is incredible. Soulmate. Okay, now, and what you don't see coming, the lovers, there's a decision calling for you to make. I'll take this one. A decision calling for you to be made now, my dear viewers. Before I go go deeper into the tarot, I'm going to find out what these messages are. So if you're not ready and you still need time, just put me on pause, unpause it, and start getting the answers. If you want to make anything specific, this is the time to do it. Starting with this one, so you can pause me if you're not ready. Expansion. Something is expanding. Just like activation, something is getting ignited. Something is getting bigger and expanding. It could be a new relationship. It could be something um, with someone that you have. could be calling you to make a decision. Uh, but something certainly is expanding. Wow. And you've got both. It's amazing. We've got both of these. Have a look at that. With expansion. And then we've got the lovers. Decisions being made. Soulmate. And expansion. This is incredible. Absolutely amazing. Mm, wow. Yes, yeah, so, so we've got expansion. Okay. Now let's go further and take uh, this one here. And it says mysticism. Something is hidden from you. Uh, there is a doorway that's going to open. There is some mystery going on. This is going to be coming to light, I feel, in due time. A little bit of patience. Then we've got, I'll put my glasses on for this one. 
we've got um, I'm looking for a way out of the situation so I can be free somebody wants to be free there's a lot of changes taking place something big is going to happen in this year the, the dragon the Chinese year of the dragon something to do with May people born uh, Gemini this could be concerning Gemini or Taurus um, in May something big happening trying to get out of a situation somebody wants to get out of a situation hmm, interesting Five Chinese year of the dragon. I said that, didn't I? Yes. And we've got five weeks and into May. This is May. Something happening in May. Now, the next one here, we have a bridge. A bridge is all about collaboration, compromising, working well together, union. It's about overcoming barriers and obstacles and completing together, you know, having a wonderful outcome here uh, with the bridge, like, you know, uniting well together, doing exceptionally well. So the bridge and we've got the soulmates and the lovers. So that's beautiful. I'll talk about this a little bit more. I'll just put, okay, this is what we don't see coming. This is what's happening. Now with the bridge, it shows also that there's sharing. There's memory, going through memories, compromising, meeting halfway, collaborating, working well together, communicating well, uniting together. It is connected to Chinese year of the pig, Chinese year of the rat, Chinese year of the ox buffalo. It is also connected to... Um, something big happening in December, maybe getting together, communicating, working on something together, reaching it to a certain resolution. It is connected to um, also somebody born in December, which is Sagittarius or Capricorn. Okay. And it could be 12 days from now, something big in December. The next one here shows it says karmic ties and again we've got a five that's two fives already five chinese year of the dragon somebody born gemini this is very much connected to gemini and taurus okay uh, it says i can't fully be there for you as long as this other person is in my life i know it's hard for you but i have to go through this experience in order to heal it so somebody can't be with you because they are still, they have karmic ties with someone else, but they will ultimately maybe uh, release themselves in due time. So then there will go, there will be a lot of changes and there is something activating. So I feel like it could be a big connection. Ultimately, uh, this person that has got this person in their life might, that's why they're saying you need a little bit of time. Things are going to get better. It's not going to be like this. It's going to get better. And they are going through a certain level of healing. Chinese year of the dragon, uh, Gemini, Taurus also. And we've got May again, something happening in May. Somebody could be wanting a release. Somebody um, wanting to get, you know, stronger and heal from where they are. And this final one. Oh, no, there's two more. It says here, you show up in my dreams. It helps me process buried memories. Wow. That's very nice, but sad at the same time. Transcending where you are, August, somebody that has uh, Virgo or um, Leo in them. August, something big happening. Showing up in my dreams that helps me process buried memories. Processing issues that have happened in the past, maybe. Transcending to higher levels. Chinese year of the goat. And eight, eight weeks from now, which is J June. Uh, maybe somebody will start dreaming a lot about you from now to June. You'll be hearing about it. But August is going to impact the situation even more. Let's have a look at this. It says, I don't react when people mention you. I don't react when people mention you. That's very straightforward. And this one, it says, I wish I could take back my words. I wish I could take back my words. Hmm, very interesting. Okay, my dear viewers, now what I'm going to do is put these aside. Okay, so I'll put these over here, right? And... What I'm going to do is find out what are the star signs of four star signs that unite you all together, your people that you're dealing with, leaving behind or moving forward with, making decisions about. Well, we've got water energy, number one, which is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Let's see, we need three more. Okay, another one opened up. Venus, that's Taurus and Libra, united. Libra and Taurus, somebody that has Taurus with Libra in them. Wow. Wow. Okay, or could be Libra dealing with Taurus. We've got water energy Pluto, the rule of Scorpio. So we've got water Scorpio. Hmm, Scorpio being nominated. Let's see. And oh my god, we've got Neptune, the rule of Pisces. So we've got another water energy. There's a lot of water energy. One more. Oh, two more came up. Wow. Okay. So there's a Libra that we saw. Venus, Libra, Libra doubles up with Taurus. 
And then we've got Sagittarius. Very interesting. So Sagittarius fire energy, which goes beautiful with air. Um, the only thing that's missing is earth, which is really amazing. Earth is missing. But I feel like the water energy here is very strong. Um, and there is Taurus. Venus is the rule of Taurus. So the only earth energy we have here is Taurus. Uh, everybody's united somehow uh, with Taurus, with everybody. Okay. Now, my dear viewers, let's have a look at... We found out what we wanted. Now we need a, three more messages. The Tarot for all Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. Let's see what else you need to know. And then I'll clarify the important factors. Okay. Sleepless nights, worry. Um, feeling guilty, blame, anxiety. Something is not right. Maybe decisions are calling for you to make about relationships. Uh, maybe somebody wants to get out of something. They're not happy. I'm looking for a way out of this situation so I can be free. Maybe somebody's feeling trapped and unhappy. Somebody's not very happy. That's what it looks like. Mm, very interesting. Okay. I'll keep going and then we'll see what's going. Controlling issues. Somebody feels controlled or something being done too much. They just want out. They need to heal. Something being done too much, maybe. They want to be released. You see, this is about releasing, healing from something and releasing. It's, it's very similar to this and very connected to that. You see, wanting out of a situation. We have to clarify both of these are very important. Okay, let's see. We need one more. A new beginning. Someone wonderful and new coming into your life. Fire energy could be Sagittarius very easily because we've got Sagittarius and we've got a new beginning. Someone magnificent. This could be um, someone that you will be thriving with, someone that you are moving forward with. And it could be your soulmate at the same time. Very easily it could be your soulmate. I'll just put next, next to Sagittarius this new person. They could have fire energy and Sagittarius being the main one. This person, you will thrive together. You will work well together, hand in hand. And and they could have earth energy in them. They could have uh, also Taurus in them. So Sagittarius, Taurus, perhaps. But fire energy and we've got Sagittarius. And we've got the soulmate card. So very interesting. Now, um, let's move on to the next level. And the next level is, before I clarify, I find out a little bit more and then we'll clarify. Three messages for all Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. Love life. We got one. We got two. Okay, so money and lovable. Stay optimistic. Okay, one more. We need one more. Gemini and it's open. Okay, so first and foremost, um, my dear Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. It says finances and career. It says financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So there may be some money problems or financial issues or career issues that could be a factor, a main factor at this point in time where you might be thinking, collaborating, working together, or there may be issues, arguments. But the point of the matter is that they're saying stay optimistic about your love life because positive thinking and faith will bring you romance so there will be a romance between you and you could be meeting someone and falling in love with very soon it says desire decide clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now very soon you are going to get someone incredible very very soon you are meeting someone wonderful this is what's coming a lover a beautiful lover coming very soon something is igniting something big is happening so we've got that one there. Now, um, stay optimistic, we've got it. Now let's see two messages for Gemini, Libra, that's one, and Aquarius, the truth. Oh, too many. Yeah, three. We just want one. One more. And there it is. Thank you. Okay, now let's start with the first one. Glasses on. It says trust. There are trust matters, trust issues. I could tell from here, feeling guilty, blaming, there's issues here. Trust, it says transformations occur, transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically change and transform. So I feel like accepting a situation is going to give you that sense of knowing where you stand. That's number one. And you'll make the right decision, especially if you are about to make a decision about 
um, a lover because it's all about trust very important trust so if you're about to make a decision you have to really pay attention and let things automatically change and transform let it happen so that you can finally understand where you stand that's that one number one the other one is very interesting because this is to do with this card it's amazing it says a secret admirer someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting know someone truly cares about you and i feel it's this someone that's coming in your life and giving you that extraordinary soulmate connection that you're healing together and growing together and and really expanding together something amazing is happening a secret admirer this is amazing i keep saying amazing i'm sorry i don't know without even thinking the brain is just you know consumed with everything here and trying to put it together now my dear viewers let us see what let us see what this devil is all about this is about controlling issues let's see what is it all about gemini libra aquarius the devil the devil shows that there's something hidden from you, something you don't know. It is connected to someone new coming in your life, earth energy. Remember I said there is a Venus here, earth energy, which is um, Taurus. Venus is the rule of Taurus with Libra. So a Taurus with Libra, this is the earth energy, someone incredible. This could be Virgo or Capricorn, but I see Taurus with Libra here very strong because we've got the Venus. And it looks to me like uh, this person is going to be spectacular, helping you, moving you forward. Someone amazing is coming. This is hidden from you. It's not happening yet, so you don't know much about it. But it is going to put an end to these situations that are becoming too much excessive. You will heal from this without a doubt. So what is hidden is coming. Now, let's move on to the Nine of Swords and see what is this sadness all about. The nine, you know, sleepless nights and anxiety. Night of swords for all gemini libra aquarius the past leaving the past behind and moving on it's not easy i know believe me i know it's the most painful thing in the world leaving someone you adore grieving the loss of that person and leaving and moving forward um i also feel like you are very unhappy it seems like you're very very sad and going through sleepless nights the only way to heal from this is to let go of the past let go of the past that's the only way there is no other way so letting go of the past is the only way to heal so that's that one wow in connection to this okay let's do this proposition the knight of cups let's see what is the proposal this is an area where you're defeated at there's nothing you can do it's something out of your hands oh my god the lovers again a proposal you see this there is a proposal coming and it is going to be calling for you to make decisions. The lovers. A decision calling for you to make in regard to the lovers. Wow. The lovers is about a decision. About someone wonderful you are going to make a decision about. And you are going to be proposed to a proposal or a proposition. Prepare yourself for this, my dear Gemini, my dear Libra, and my dear Aquarius. Something major is happening. Someone amazing is coming, and you are going to make big decisions about. Prepare. Okay, so that, that's the first thing that came out. Um, in regard to the proposal, I just need a little bit more, maybe. Yes, there's the nine again. The nine of pentacles. Could be an earth energy here, very strong. Earth energy. Again, it comes to that Taurus Virgo Taurus Capricorn and we've got the Taurus because Venus is the rule of Taurus so possibly a Taurus with Libra in them um, earth energy changing your life right after an ending when you reach an impasse and it's out of your hands something out of your hands ends there is an earth energy coming someone amazing Taurus being number one they have Libra in them um, and then the next uh, um, earth energies are Virgo and and Capricorn very interesting the nine of Pentacles repeated in your reading but something is uh, certainly coming to an end and there is a decision calling and they're saying be patient again look at that be patient things are gonna fall into place for you just go steady and ultimately there is a proposal and there is happiness for you so just tread carefully okay 
So tread carefully. I don't mean tread carefully. I just mean like be very patient and see how things are gonna, you know, unfold. There's no need to push things. You just see them unfold. Something is getting activated without a doubt. Something's gonna be revealing itself to you very soon. And there is a secret admirer, someone that really, really likes you. Now let's move on to the next level and see who is this um, this fire energy, Sagittarius, or the beginning of something, someone wonderful. Who is it? Could it be your soulmate, my dear Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? Who is this person? Right, we've got Virgo here, and we've got air energy, which is you. So someone that might have earth energy and fire, we've got Virgo being number one. Another factor is someone that you will be really, it'll come at a time where this person gives you a lot of um, answers. You'll get a lot of answers. You'll have a lot of clarity and a lot of strength to be able to move forward. It is at that time this someone is coming. This is what uh, it says, um, something is activating. Something is igniting. Someone is coming. A new destiny. And I feel like this particular someone that's coming when there's activation I feel like it's to do with your soulmate, someone from your past lives coming, not just anybody. Someone from your past life is coming. Some destiny is getting activated now, my dear viewers. That's what I feel. My dear Gemini Libra. Wow. And Aquarius. And you are going to be victorious. There's a victory and overcoming all obstacles here. Now, let's move forward to this water energy coming. And that chariot also was in regard to water cancer. So don't forget, we've got Scorpio, Cancer, and, P and Pisces. Water energy, very strong for those of you who are dealing with water energy. Um, somebody wonderful is coming. And they keep telling us very soon. Everything's happening very soon. Somebody's coming very soon. You've got to make decisions <laughs> very soon. Someone amazing is coming very soon i'll put this one here so you can see very soon someone is coming and it could be a soulmate very soon wow okay now we've worked that out now let's have a look at the soulmate let's see the two of cups for everyone let's see if every gemini every Libra and Aquarius, it's destined, part of your destiny. This person is coming and they are destined for you. And guess what? They might have Libra in them because we've got air energy. It could be Aquarius or Gemini, but I feel Libra because we've got Venus here, which is the ruler of Libra. we got Libra again. So we have Libra twice. Venus is uh, Libra Taurus, and then we've got Libra twice. So this is air energy. It could be someone with air energy um, that have air energy in them. Uh, could be your soulmate. But it is someone that's destined. So we were asking about this and um, we got the truth. There could be earth energy in them too because earth energy is there, which is Taurus. Uh, we've got Taurus here. There could be Capricorn or um, Virgo. But destiny is bringing you very soon. You see that how it says very soon. And then you got the soulmate very soon. That is amazing. Destiny bringing on the soulmate. Someone wonderful is coming. And they could have earth energy in them. That's another one. They could have earth energy. That's what you don't see coming. Earth energy. And what are we doing next? The earth energy here. Let's have a look at the Queen of Pentacles. This is the earth energy. Let's see what is happening with this earth energy. Queen of Pentacles for everyone. Mm, fire. There is fire energy. Someone with fire energy, just like we said. Fire energy. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. And um, we've got Sagittarius here, the strongest. So Sagittarius unites all of you. You might be dealing with someone that's Sagittarius. We talked about Sagittarius. I feel like you are doing the righteous thing by letting somebody go, perhaps, or giving someone something wonderful to an earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It also shows that um, there is an earth energy coming in your life, and, and they might have fire in them, and fire being Sagittarius, or even Leo, Aries. And, and you might be committing to this person. You might be... Um, uh, you are committed to this person to do the right thing by them. You are doing the righteous thing. You are taking all the right actions and committing to someone of earth energy and fire. They've got earth and fire. It's amazing. It's so obvious. And again, I'll say Taurus could be the one. Taurus with Libra. We've got earth energy here. Whether we like it or not, earth and fire is doubling up in your reading. So this is part of your destiny. And I really feel like fire being Sagittarius, earth, and I see commitment. You see, you've got the... 
you got the destiny, you got the earth, and you got the fire, and you got the earth again. And we've got Sagittarius and Venus, which is the ruler of earth, Taurus, and the fire is Sagittarius. So we're talking about possibility of someone wonderful coming in your life. They're showing you what's coming because um, the soulmate situation is here. So you are destined to be with someone that is earth and fire. How wonderful that they let you know everything. This is going to be a soulmate and you are destined to be together. So prepare. Prepare for what's coming. I feel like it's going to be Sagittarius, um, Taurus, and um, what did I say? I'll just... <laughs> um, I feel like it's going to be Sagittarius, um, Taurus with Libra. And I feel like destiny is bringing on someone incredible who's going to be your soulmate. I truly believe that very strongly for the majority now, it might not be for everyone, but it's for the majority because you've got the water energies there also. Uh, my dear, um, it was all about this, this queen of pentacles, the earth energy. I feel like you are committing to do something wonderful. I do feel like there's water energy involved. You could be having someone that's got water and earth with them, within them. And um, I do feel like water energy is there very strong also. So finally, there is an end of a chapter and the beginning of a new one for some of you. Let's have a look at what else we need to know. I think I did everything. We did follow through everything. Yes, I think so. Did I leave something behind? The lovers was something that was coming. Um, yes, I feel like very soon something incredible is taking place. Did we leave anything out? Maybe this one here. I'll find out who this person is. Let's find out. The, the page of wands. For all Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, the truth. Oh, wow. Mm. For some, something hidden is coming to light. And you're seeing your path clearly. If you've been going through a lot of questioning, because we had the questioning and not knowing where you stand and what's going to happen in my future. Is this going to work? And and where will I be, you know, um, after this? It looks to me like destiny is intervening. And, and it's showing me that someone wonderful is coming. So, um, but it's also showing that there's something ending. So these sleepless nights, this is reaching an impasse and being very sad. Your higher self is trying to tell you this situation is going to end no matter what. Not because you're not doing the right thing. It isn't personal. It isn't about you. It is, it is about your destiny. It's time, divine timing now, very soon. They are going to give you the soulmate, the one that you are destined to be with. That's why there's an absolute ending of someone. And you're moving away. You're moving forward. You're moving forward to very soon with someone else. You're changing. Your life is changing. Everything is changing. Very soon, you are going to meet the soulmate that you are going to spend the rest of your life with. And that's why things are ending. And you might be crying and you might be sad and having sleepless nights. But this is something that was destined to end. It was just for a short time. What you really need and what you really want to have someone with you maybe forever, that person is coming very soon. And it is your soulmate. You don't have to thrive. You will thrive together. You will heal together. You don't have to fight. Everything becomes easy and effortless. It is all destined and it's coming. Absolutely. Now this could be a secret admirer, possibly, that you are no, have no idea about. It could be someone that will finally like you know release the truth and tell you that I'm crazy about you, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. It is possible, but it's happening very soon. Just a little bit of patience, and you will understand what's going on. So if there's any words being said, and anything comes to an end, and you're angry and sad, and you wish you didn't say what you said, it isn't about that. You are not the cause of this breakup. Destiny is not you. That's very important. That's the message today. You are destined for something amazing, and that something is getting activated right now. It's in activation mode. And ultimately, you will see that you are destined for something much more deeper, much more effortless and much more profound that's going to last a lifetime. Long term, someone amazing is coming. Very, very soon. Where's the very soon here? Very, very soon is coming. Someone coming very soon. Just prepare yourself for this because a little bit of patience and you'll see that someone is coming very, very soon. And that's the end of your reading. My dear, dear Gemini, Libra, Aquarius.
Aquarius, something miraculous is taking place. Something mysterious is taking place. And why it's taking place, you'll get to understand everything. Ultimately, you are destined to be with someone forever. And that someone forever is coming. June and May. May and June are playing a big role in your life. You will learn a lot about this uh, around May and June. And finally, the finale is going to give you uh, the green light. Just a little bit of patience. I feel like September also is going to give you an understanding of where you stand. And situations are going to come to an end. But there is a proposal. Don't forget, leave the past, let go of the past so that you can move forward. And that is the end of your reading. Do give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think, my dear. I'm Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. It's absolutely free to do so and it supports me big time. And please watch the video all the way to the end without stopping it. If you would like to support me, that means a lot to me. And that's all I wish. And I look forward to see what you say, your comments about everything. And soon you'll be making a major decision. Destiny is going to show you um, the clarity of where you are. And you'll be able to make those decisions. Now if you're in limbo, everything happens to get you out of where you're at. A lot of love and light to all of you. Namaste.